Hi there, my name is Jimmy Stewart and I'm a product engineer at our Danvers single-use manufacturing facility. Um, and as a product engineer, I lead projects such as uh, raw material validations and uh, quality-driven product improvements. So let me tell you a little bit about how I got into science. Um, I uh, developed a love for science at a young age. I remember growing up, I, I used to love to solve puzzles and uh, try to figure out how things worked. And um, that meant I loved things like, like science classes, math classes growing up. But I also loved comic books growing up. And um, I, w I was, and still am to this day, a huge fan of Spider-Man. And so I remember growing up thinking that, hey, if I become a scientist someday, then who knows, maybe I'll get bitten by a radioactive spider. Um, no superpowers yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, let me tell you a little bit more about what it's like to be a product engineer. Um, so I had mentioned that we uh, are responsible for things called validations. Now, a validation is something that we do to demonstrate that a product that we manufacture works like we think it should work and how our customers expect it to work when they buy it. The lab we see in this picture is what we refer to as the training room. This is a room that's used to train our new manufacturing operators um, on all sorts of uh, tasks that are required to manufacture our single-use solutions. Um, as a product engineer, um, I can often expect to be in this room usually once a week, sometimes more often. The specific tasks that bring me into this lab are usually preparing some sort of a special prototype or um, or, or feasibility assembly. And what we'll use is we'll use those uh, steel tables you see in the in the picture, um, as well as uh, some of the tools you can see to uh, secure cable ties, other connections, secure tubing, um, install gaskets, install all sorts of components into whatever given uh, test assembly we're trying to challenge. Some specific work we do in this room is a lot of packaging evaluations. Um, Packaging our assemblies is a really critical aspect of, uh, of product engineering support functions. We, we build all sorts of custom products in our Danvers facility and we provide uh, support and, and assistance for, for, uh, for questions that may arise about how to properly package some of our larger and more complex assemblies. What you see in this picture is my workspace, my cubicle. Taking up primary focus in the picture are uh, a series of uh, new uh, validation samples of a new filter design that I'm helping to support in an advisory capacity as these new filters are evaluated for integration into our single-use solutions that we make here in Danvers. But within that big cardboard box are even more filters than the ones stacked on top. So yeah, this is a separate project than the component validation type activities that I do, but um, it's, it's one of the other roles as a product engineer is to support the integration of new products, new product launches that that are launched as part of our single-use solutions. So um, uh, some of the things that you can see on those filters, you kind of see these uh, what look like um, uh, kind of ribbed uh, protective components on those handles. Um, those are a, a design of a protective packaging solution that we're working with a, with a company on to help better protect those filters as they're assembled into our single-use solutions. We, we build all sorts of really complex assemblies out of Danvers, and so uh, it's very important that we adequately uh, protect both the, uh, the components within a given assembly, but also protect uh, other aspects of the assembly, specifically some of our uh, proprietary film from the components in the assembly. So these, these little protective covers are designed to ensure that everything gets safely to our customer sites. One of the types of validations I'm responsible for is something called a component validation. Um, and I have an example here. This is a component we buy. This is called a pH probe port. Um, and what we do is we install this to our mixer assemblies, which our customers buy and then fill with some sort of a process fluid. And what this does is it allows our customers to install something called a pH probe, which is used to measure the pH of the solution in the mixer bag and you know, how acidic or how basic it is. Now it's very important that this component is made in such a way that it's always the same size, it's always the same, um, this hole is always the same size, you know, this, this dimension is always the same, because it's important that our customers are able to install their pH probe. Um, if, if a dimension on this part is wrong, that pH probe might not fit properly, or it might cause a leak, and that would be bad. So um, what we do is we work with the supplier who makes these parts. Um, we look at their process, we ask them to run their process to make, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, and we sample um, parts throughout their manufacturing run. 
we take a bunch of measurements, and then we look at that data and see how those measurements compare to what the specification limits are for this part. And those specification limits correspond to, you know, specific lengths and dimensions that, that align with, you know, the, the maximum width that that hole can be so that things will fit properly, uh, things like that. So once we do that, we're able to demonstrate that the, the process is capable of supplying these parts to us so that we always know that they're going to work properly at our customer. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit about validations. Um, now, one question that I get a lot is, uh, what were my favorite classes in school growing up? And so, while I did love my math and my science classes, my favorite classes were actually not science classes. My favorite classes, um, the two that come to mind was an, an improv comedy class I took in high school as a senior, and a, a Shakespeare class that I took as a junior in college. And while those didn't exercise the, you know, the uh, science and math muscles as much, they did exercise um, important muscles and taught me skills like creative thinking, how to react quickly in an, a situation you've never been in before, how to communicate effectively. And those have been very helpful um, skills in, in, in my time as an engineer. So um, yeah, don't count out those, uh, those English and, and, and fine arts classes. Um, even if you want to be a scientist, it's important to exercise both sides of the brain. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and learning a little bit more about what a day in the life of a product engineer is like. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And um, yeah, I hope you stay curious.